Hey everyone, this is Chris. It's uh, It's been a long time, but I finally have a little bit more free time and energy this weekend, so I'm recording another video. Uh, we also just got a new pack that came out, which is, is quite exciting, although this deck doesn't use many of the cards from it, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see on Thranduil. Anyways, uh, this video is going to be a location attachment deck featuring Haldan up against uh, a custom-built Woodland Realm that is going to be pretty heavy on locations and treacheries. Uh, I actually learned something interesting while I was doing my testing. It is possible to build a deck with just the Woodland Realm that has no zero-cost enemies in it, which means that for this deck, it's perfect because it just churns out more locations and some of the negative shadow, treachery, and other encounter effects do nothing because they can't find any enemies that work. Uh, it's, it's brilliant and it's cheesy and I didn't even do it on purpose. I just picked all the cool locations or at least, you know, the, the encounter sets that I thought would be good for this. Uh, so, all right, let's just get into it already set up my initial set of locations. I'll draw my opening card. Well, that is an interesting one. Uh, so, start off with the Darren's Runes, draw two. And of all these, I'm gonna discard this Lorien Guide. Uh, Lorien Guide is good at helping me clear the locations in case I get location locked, but it is really hard uh, especially given my opening hand, to pay for the Lorien Guide. So, spend one off of Haldon to add an Elf Stone. Oh, can't do that yet. Active location only. Uh, we use one off of Bard. Put Ranger Provisions on this Mountains of Mirkwood. Uh, pretty much no matter what, I'm going to travel to there. I can't afford the threat until I get a little more set up. So, questing for the round, six, eight committed to the quest, up against five in the staging area. All right, I have to raise my threat by two, and I have to remember to flip this over. I do make three progress, which is not bad. I will travel to Mountains of Mirkwood so that I can avoid its threat raise from the staging area and so that I can use Haldan's ability plus this Elf Stone. So, all right, we will refresh. Stand everybody up. Draw myself a card for the next round. Get my resources back. We are good to go. I have a Gandalf in my hand. That was going to be my Elf Stone target, uh, but instead what's gonna happen is I'm going to use this Furial that I just drew. Really, I cannot think of anything better. Uh, I do have a feint, so if we get an enemy, I'll be fine. Uh, commit to the quest. Send eight again, up against three in the staging area this time. When revealed, oh, I really hate this card. All right, well, there goes four resources for four threat. This is why I wanted Furial in play. Uh, but my eight up against three is five progress, four on the Mountains of Mirkwood, one on the main quest. Uh, and now we get to the most fun part about playing this deck. Haldan is when the active location is explored. Ranger Provisions is after attached location is explored. And Elfstone is, after attached location, leaves play as an explored location. So I assume these all more or less trigger at the same time and I can do whatever I want with them. Uh, or they go in some order that I don't fully understand. But it's mostly irrelevant because I already have the card that I want to use for Elfstone. So we get a Furial in play for free, three resources, and I draw two cards from Haldon. And since I get to decide the order that they go in the discard pile, uh, let's drop Elfstone on top. 
I will travel to Labyrinthine Woods, move on to Refresh. Draw my card, get my resources. All right, so this is good. Play a Woodman's Clearing on Labyrinthine Woods. Uh, let's spend one for a map of Ravanian on Haldan. Uh, interesting. Yes, okay. I'll spend two off of Haldan to play this Erebor Hammersmith, which gets me back the Elfstone. Which bard can play on this location? So now I do still have faint support. I will draw cards, drop my threat, and I'll be able to put that Gandalf in play. So let's quest six, seven, eight, eleven, up against one, and I can refuse the first encounter card. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna discard that and reveal the second card instead. Of course, Hatred Rekindled gets Surge and gets me to a location, uh, which is gonna reduce my threat reduction effect, but that is okay by me. Uh, so, 2, 6, 8, 11, up against 3 is 8 progress, 4 on this, and 4 on the main quest. All right, so once again, the magic of uh, Woodman's Clearing is when attached to location leaves play as an explored location. All right, um, yeah, so I'm gonna drop in Gandalf, drop my threat by one, thanks to this dry water course, and draw two cards with Haldon. Uh, and we will put the Woodman's Clearing on top. I think I forgot to trigger a map of Ravanian, but that's okay. All right, uh, refresh, my threat goes up to 35, thanks to Gandalf. Uh, but now that he's in play, we should be able to really, really steamroll forwards, making the progress. So one, one and three on Eowyn. I mean, I'm close to saving up for Yazan just out of my hand, which is interesting. Uh, so we can spend one map of Ravanian on Bard Son of Brand. Oh, I, I should have traveled to this dry water course because I always want to travel. Um, yes, so I don't have anything else I can play right now. I do have another Hammersmith in my hand. Uh, so let's just quest. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. I uh, make two free progress thanks to these maps. And we're up against one, up against four in the staging area. That is 11 progress. So more than enough to clear the dry water course. Uh, so nine more. Yes, me too. Six and five. Um. Am I ready to move on? I think I am ready to move on. So let's travel to the spider den, uh, which I will clear next round and advance during the quest phase. Oh no, immune to player card effects. Never mind. Regardless, we need to tick up to 39. I need to get my threat reduction going again. Draw a card for the round. That's a good one. And here we go. Uh, I will pay two for Hammersmith, which gets Woodman clearing back. I guess I have to put it on the Mirkwood path, but that's just fine by me. And we quest. Two, six, eight, 11, 15. Can't trigger the map. 15 up against six. 
is a grand total of nine progress. One on Spider's Den, which flips, and all the rest really doesn't matter. So, 2A, reveal the top five cards. Look for one of five or less, or one or less. So the only one cost card in here is this bear, so that's what we're gonna pull. Good news about don't leave the path is that I am forced to travel to locations if able. Which is actually shockingly easy because there's this one here, this nice attachment on it that I desperately need. As I sit here and think, maybe I have doomed myself with this Gandalf. I mean, I can always get rid of him. That's that's an option. All right, I am unfortunately also forced to engage both of these enemies. There's shadow number one, shadow number two. Oh, Yazan in play will really help to clear them out. So I'll defend one of them with a Hammersmith, who is definitely going to die. Discard an attachment I control, that can be the map. And goodbye, Hammersmith. Discard another one, since I definitely can't afford to take an undefended attack. Whew, sheets and Oofdok, I don't mind seeing go. All right, so I have a grand total of six attack to spend, which at the moment is not enough to kill either one of these enemies. Uh, so let's just put four damage on the bear. I can't jump next round, so I need to use that faint. All right, refresh takes me up to 42 threat. We are gonna drop down by three, hopefully. And on to the next round, I draw my card, gain my resources. Drew another Furial, which does not help at all. Uh, so I can faint this round, definitely dish out some damage with Haldan. Could use Eowyn even, but that seems not worth it. All right, so let's commit to the quest. I do still want to make my progress. Uh, we're gonna send Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, uh, Map triggers immediately, clearing out the Mirkwood path, which possibly draws another location. It does. That happens first, so my threat only goes down by one to 41. All right, so I sent 11 up against two, four in the staging area. Uh, means I make my five progress. I'm forced to travel to this dry water course, taking up my threat by two. I'm also forced to engage these wargs. One, two, three. All right, well, this is exciting. Uh, so we're gonna and faint uh, to choose the Mirkwood Patrol to not make an attack this round. I will have Mendor defend this Wild Wargs. Costs me a random card from my hand and one damage. Warden of Healing is okay. I'll probably play the other one next round. Uh... Now I have to deal with the bear. So let's defend with Gandalf. Attacking enemy gets minus, oh, plus X defense, that's fine. So that the bear is very safe this round. Uh, we'll put two damage on this warg. Because next round Gizan will be able to kill it. 
I think this means I need to keep Mendor alive. Or I trigger Eowyn and desperately hope. Uh, no, I should be okay with Yuzan next round because I'm very close to killing either of those. Just have to survive. All right, uh, refresh, <laughs> tick up to 45. Uh, I forgot dry water course should make me at 46. Yep, yeah, so Gandalf has to go this round or else. Uh, we get resources back up to five, two on halt on. Draw my card. Well now, actually that makes things very interesting. All right, two gets me a hammersmith, which pulls a woodman's clearing back to my hand. I'll play the woodman's clearing on the dry water course for sure. Uh, and five tactics resources is Yazan. So now I can defend two of these attacks like this. Gandalf can take one. Uh, and I guess Yazan and Haldan will probably end up taking out two of these. Could be worse. All right, up against nothing in the staging area. So, two, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 15. We're only gonna make five progress, but that's okay. Mirkwood flock surges into the eaves of Mirkwood. All right, 15, up against three, 12 progress. So four on the water course and five on this quest. Woodman's Clearing drops my threat back down to 43, thankfully. I am forced to travel to the Eaves of Mirkwood, which costs me one of these cards. It's another Warden of Healing, uh, but we're not really taking a lot of damage, so maybe that's fine. And I also have to engage this Mirkwood flock. So good thing some of these enemies are about to die. One, two, three, four. All right, first things first, let's take Mirkwood Flock undefended. Bounces back to the staging area, which is actually completely okay. Mendor will defend the Wild Wargs. No Shadow means he takes one damage and they also bounce back to the staging area. Gandalf will defend against the Bear, taking no damage. And Hammersmith defends against the patrol. Attack destroys a character, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. That's fine. It's a location, which actually is possibly good for me. So that is all the enemy attacks. Now it is my opportunity to attack back. This bear has three defense, uh, so we're gonna do six attack on the patrol. Brings them to three damage out of five. Put that extra damage on the bear so that they can be destroyed. Still have to deal with a bunch of enemies, but I think we're in better shape for it this round than we were before. Uh, and we are making good progress. So let's keep Gandalf as we tick up to 46 in the refresh phase. Draw my card, gain my resources. That's actually pretty good. Uh, so lucky for me, I drew this Ranger Provisions, which is going to mean Haldon doesn't have to exhaust to commit to the quest. Also mean I can play Jubair next round, which will really help stabilize this mess. Uh, I took Mirkwood Flock undefended and it was two damage, so that was gonna go on Bard. All right, so questing six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 15. And I can refuse this card. Uh, no, that card is totally fine. Uh, Haldon makes one progress on the eaves immediately. And 15 up against 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 is 8 progress. 3 on the eaves and 5 on the main quest. Ranger Provisions triggers, drawing me a card and gaining me resources. Forest Road Traveler is probably just going to be a chump blocker, sadly. All right, I am forced to travel, so I will travel to Mountains of Mirkwood to avoid the threat raise, because Gandalf needs to go, sadly. All right. <laughs> to engage all these enemies again, deal out these shadow cards. All right, here we go. Um, I will have Mendor defend against the Wargs. Creates a Mirkwood flock. He takes one damage. The Wargs does stay engaged, which is interesting. So I keep these two up, I can kill those two enemies. Uh, so I'll Gandalf defend against the Mirkwood patrol. No shadow effect, no damage. Mirkwood flock undefended. Ooh, good choice to do that one last. Uh, that is three damage, which has to go on Haldan. Can't afford to let Eowyn die. But good news, like I said, six is three damage on the Mirkwood Patrol. Yazan's ability puts one damage on Wargs. And the two biggest threats are gone. Just this Mirkwood flock and this other Mirkwood flock left. Uh, I could use those Warden of Healings now, though. So, let's refresh, and I will discard Gandalf this round. So, only up to 47. And yeah, I'm, I'm aware that this is going to make it a little harder for us to quest through, uh, but Jubair should more than make up for Gandalf's defense. So, draw my cards, gain my resources. Five turns into Jubair for defense. Two to a Forest Road Traveler, also for defense. Uh, so let's commit to the quest. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I will leave these for combat. Make one free progress on the Mountains of Mirkwood. Staging reveals. Beast of Tarnifwin. Oh, that is not, not what I was looking for. All right. Well, this could be worse. So, uh, I sent 11 up against 6. It's 5 progress, 3 here, 2 on the quest. Location is cleared. Travel to the abandoned camp, which is going to put some nasty enemy probably back into play. Uh, and now I am forced to engage all three of these. Uh, one, two, three. I can't faint, but I wish I could. Uh, so Jubair is going to defend the beast and discard the shadow effect. So that forced effect does not happen. Uh, Mendor will defend a Mirkwood flock. Does not destroy a character. Uh, Forest Road Traveler will defend this other flock. Tagging enemy gets plus two. So Forest Road Traveler is very dead. Um, I'm going to keep the beast where it is right now. So three from Yazan kills a flock. Puts a damage on this one. So next round, for sure, the flock will die. Took up two 48 threat. Not feeling this myself right now. Uh, draw a card. That might help, though. 
One resource, one resource, one resource. It's gonna help me get to the next stage. So there's a Woodman's Path. Drops that location down to a single progress point required. Can't really use either of these cards, so that's okay. Uh, commit to the quest. Six, seven, eight. Ooh, do I? Let's keep Virial. I might nine to kill the beast, which is basically all of these characters. Now we'll send Virial. All right, so we're sending 11 to the quest. Uh, Woodman's Path triggers. Our wooden map of Iranian plus the path immediately clears the abandoned camp, which causes me to shuffle one of these cards back into the encounter set. Um, since I know we're about to advance, I might pick the bear. No, Chief of Doc is nasty. I don't know why I'm shuffling this discard pile. I just have to shuffle the Chieftain into this four card encounter deck. All right, so uh, my 11 up against two threat, which is the end of the quest. Uh, I think I really did doom myself with that Gandalf. Uh, it was really tempting, but just not as useful as something like Jubair or the Treebeard that I usually had during my test games. Don't get me wrong, right? I love Hobbit Gandalf. His ability is so good. Uh, I, I just played a little bit too close to the fire. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.